Hey everybody, this is Lex at Mac's Future, and I'm going to talk about something a little different than Macintoshes, although I did use my Macintosh to figure out how to do this, uh, and that is Bitcoin mining. You know, that's the, the craziest craze right now. You know, that's that alternative currency, and it just so happens that, um, you know, I did purchase a mining device, ooh, all the way back in April, and I got it a couple of weeks ago, about a week ago, and I started using it. And I'm just going to show you how I set it up. I set it up to work with a Raspberry Pi that I bought a while ago. That's that little $35 computer that doesn't take up much battery life or, or wattage. And um, here, if you're looking at it, here's the chart. Bitcoin is this alternative currency that is not centralized, uh, you know, is now trading over $400 a share or a Bitcoin. And uh, boy, like a year ago, they were only $10. I'm not saying you should pursue this, but I did get a mining um, device, and I'm going to show you how I set it up. Okay, so the device that I ordered to mine, uh, I got from a, a place in Kansas called Butterfly Labs, and I actually I bought some bitcoins, uh, you know, with dollars, and then my bitcoins went up in price, and so I bought the cheapest device that I could find at Butterfly Labs made, and and I bought it way back in the spring for around $274, and it's called the BitForce 5 gigahertz uh, model miner, and um, that's what I got. It's not that big. It's, uh, it's basically 4 inches by 4 inches by 3 inches, has a USB connection and a power cable, a power cord, which are both included. And basically what this is known is it's, a, it's got a chip in there that's application-specific. And so it supposedly can um, mine and do the calculations for Bitcoin mining at 5 gigahertz, uh, I guess, per second, which is a lot. Now, the thing you got to worry about is this. It's an arms race. And so back when I ordered this thing in the spring, the this speed of, of mining was considered very good. And so in terms of how, mon how much I could mine in terms of Bitcoins, it was more productive and I didn't get it until months passed until the fall and so you know I'm not endorsing ordering it from them because you know they take the money up front and then you have to wait a while to get it and while you're waiting the value of these devices drops down because uh, the, you know there's an arms race in computer mining or Bitcoin mining and so these devices aren't as as uh, useful so to give you a sense, I mean, you know, basically, a, you know, this device is making, I don't know, like a couple of dollars a day or three dollars a day or four dollars a day mining. And if I got it back in the spring when I ordered it, it would be making more, maybe 20 or 30 dollars a day. Uh, but anyways, look, at some point, if I keep using this, it's going to break even. So this is what I'm I'm uh, I'm showing you. So this is what the box looked like that it came in, you know, so decent packaging from Butterfly Labs. And here is what it looks like under my desk. It's uh, near my cable modem, and it's not that big. I have it plugged in, and uh, you know, it has a little bit of a fan noise, so it, it sounds like a, um, like a little bit like of an air conditioner running all the time, but like not a very high-powered air conditioner. And then here, here's a video of the back of it where, like, the USB connection is. And that's what I'm going to connect. You need to connect it to a computer. It doesn't run by itself. So initially, I connected it to a Mac, but uh, I'm going to show you how I connected it to a Raspberry Pi. And uh, here is the picture of the Raspberry Pi. So I have it connected to this Raspberry Pi, and the Raspberry Pi is running a program that is, uh, you know, connected, connecting my my uh, Butterfly Lab uh, device to a mining pool, and uh, that's how it mines. So let me show you a little more about that. Now the Raspberry Pi is this clever little computer that is no frills and goes for like I don't know, thirty-five bucks or forty bucks if you get it with a. Uh, with a little bit of a uh, SD card. And they're very low powered. They run on like five watts. And so this is one of the good reasons to run a, uh, a Bitcoin mining device. And that's because Bitcoin mining takes up processor power, which takes up electricity. 
So if you use a lot of electricity, that can come out, out of your profits or your revenue. And so uh, one of the most low-powered computing devices to control any sort of bit mining device is going to be the Raspberry Pi. And uh, for 40 bucks, you can get an 8 gigabyte SD card, which is the brains of the um, of the device. Here is the uh, shopping cart at Newark, Newark Elements, and um, and that's what I have. I I bought this actually way before the um, the mining device, and um, you know, and then I found a way to hook it up. And and the next step, I'm going to show you what I use to hook it up. So on the internet, a little Google search took me to this software that's free to download and to use uh, called MindPeon, and it runs, I guess, on Linux on your Raspberry Pi and can then be connected to even this Butterfly Labs device that I bought, and it will then connect up to some mining pool that you, you run, and you'll be able to use it to mine Bitcoins. And basically, they just want you to occasionally donate the use of your device to get Bitcoins donated to Mine Peon. So Mine Peon is what you would use on your Blackberry, uh, on your um, Raspberry Pi to connect up to some bit mining device like the Butterfly Labs device that I have. Now, on MinePinion.com's website, there's actually under troubleshooting, there's instructions on, on the Mac operating system how to install Mind Pinion on the SD card that goes into your Raspberry Pi. And it says here you download the zip file from SourceForge for, and unzip it. You insert your SD card into the reader. You find out the path up to the SD card using in the terminal window of your, um, your computer, of your Mac the df space dash h minus h command and then um, once you find that you um, you unmount the SD card and then you copy the disk image onto the unmounted for unmounting the SD card you find the path and say disk util space unmount disks and then slash dev slash disk one and then once it's unmounted but still connected you copy the disk image onto the SD card, and um, there you go. You've got um, sudo dd, whatever it installs it, and it takes a while to install, and then you put it in your Raspberry Pi. Uh, and then what? What do you do then? Okay, so here's the thing. What You boot your Raspberry Pi, you connect a keyboard to it, you connect an Ethernet cable to it so it gets internet uh, access through your router and you connect it with an HDMI cable to a monitor and it boots up and then you want to go in there and look there's a way to go in and see what your what your um, your local your local setting is on the router so for me the local setting here is 10.0.1.12 and the thing is you can then log in and um, there's a default mine peon um, password when you uh, log in and username and then through the browser this is I'm logged in here to my mine pinion and in mine pinion there are these different settings like status pools settings and in pools you go in and you pick the pool that you want and a lot of times you just put your uh, Bitcoin address I use my uh, my address uh, for Bitcoin and then you mine and and here you can see um, my butterfly labs device is getting actually more than 5 gigahertz per second uh, mining I'm getting uh, 8377 and I'm, I'm hooked up to this pool over here and um, you know I'm not earning huge money here but basically I'm you know like three bucks a day or four bucks a day and it, the electricity costs like five cents or you know ten cents or I don't know maybe twenty cents a day so it's a kind of a cool hobby and um, you know you might want to try it out so uh, I did use a Mac to install um, 
mine peon onto the SD card and this is um, a sort of a low cost way to mine bitcoins and join the bitcoin craze.